Here's a fun story about my history with From Beyond. When I was a kid, there was a local independent TV station in my area that would play this movie constantly, probably a good 10 to 12 times a year. So over the years and throughout the seasons of this series, I thought, eh, I don't need to watch that movie again. I've seen it a hundred times. Then I bought Shout Factory's Blu-ray release. Holy crap, I'd never seen this movie like this. I don't know how the movie was edited to television to make any kind of sense, because just, my god, this movie in its intended form, whoa. From Beyond is from the heyday of Empire Pictures, riding high on the success of Reanimator and clearly without a care in the world. You want to talk about a production that just goes for it, From Beyond is a classic example. Rarely are movies this audacious. The cast and crew take a great many risks all throughout From Beyond, and while it didn't result in financial success for the company, it is still one of the most refreshing and interesting sci-fi horror tales of the mid-1980s. Now, as for a plot synopsis, I shouldn't even dare to attempt to give one. It's based on a very short H.P. Lovecraft story, and there's science experiments gone amok, and monsters, and brain-sucking, and boobs, and goo, and just, well, yeah, lots of stuff. See, I shouldn't try to give a plot synopsis. The film is perfectly cast with everyone from Jeffrey Combs as the much put upon lab assistant to Barbara Crampton as the doctor trying to help him, to Ted Sorrell as the monster trying to do whatever it is he's trying to do, to Ken Foray as the muscle trying to protect everyone. Crampton is a rare breed of actress, as she's both exceptionally gorgeous, as well as able to pull off the I'm a smart scientist lady role with ease. Take that, Denise Richards. Combs, sadly in the disc's extras, is kind of down on his performance in this film, but I don't get that. I think he's spot on here. If I have any complaints against From Beyond, it's that lighting scheme with those pinkish red lights used almost all the time. It's not as annoying as it was in Vamp, but it's a look I'm becoming increasingly annoyed with. Other than that, I, I want to watch it again, really. I think my opinion will only go up from here. If you like your horror films balls out crazy, but also very, very watchable, you won't go wrong with From Beyond. <sighs> that will be quite enough of that. See what I tell you, huh? <laughs>